Hi, my name is Michael Gute, and I'm presenting the CGF paper Optimizing LBDH Construction and Hierarchy Traversal to Accelerate KNN Queries on Point Clouds Using the GPU. The paper was first authored by my PhD student Johannes Jakob. It is about how to accelerate KNN searches in point clouds. The goal is to calculate them in almost real time, even for very large datasets. KNN queries occur in many areas of point cloud processing and are often dominating the runtime of the algorithms. A few examples are outlined here, all of which can be implemented well on a GPU. These are partial alignment using the ICP algorithm, removal of noise and globally correct orientation, computing paths on point clouds, feature mapping, reconstruction, and segmentation. In our case, we were looking for an efficient solution for a massive KNN graph construction of a point cloud for consistent normal orientation. Previous approaches fall into three categories. First, brute force algorithms based on computing a distance matrix and then sorting the neighbors. This is, however, only suitable for small data and query sets because of the quadratic runtime. So it is only competitive with other approaches for small and high dimensional data sets. The second category are hashing based methods. They work well on high dimensional data sets but only as long as approximate results are required. For exact queries, the algorithm has to iterate over the neighboring hash entries and become slower. Finally, the last category are spatial partitioning methods, which either use a tree or a grid. These are very fast on low dimensional data but there is an inherent performance trade-off between building the acceleration data structure and performing the query. Our approach falls into this third category. Before describing the details, I will give a quick overview of the complete algorithm. First, we generate a KD tree on the GPU and optimize it using a simple but efficient heuristic. The resulting data structure is then compacted using an in-place compaction. And finally, we use an optimized GPU implementation for finding the k-nearest neighbors. Let's first take a deeper look at building the hierarchy. To quickly generate an initial hierarchy, we use a Petrace LBVH construction which builds the hierarchy and bounding boxes in a single kernel launch. It is based on computing a Morton key for each point and then sorting them. The hierarchy can now be generated using the bit prefixes. Here you can see a small example. This is extremely fast, but it basically builds a KD tree over a fixed grid. Depending on the Morton code resolution, there are few cells with many points and a large amount of cells with few points. In a data parallel scenario, this causes threats to diverge in data dependent loops, which leads to suboptimal performance. To overcome this problem, we use a very simple idea. Our goal is to construct a flatter hierarchy where the point density in leaf nodes is as evenly distributed as possible. As you can see here, the point distribution becomes more even at the cost of the quality of the spatial resolution. While this would be negative for a non-parallel algorithm, it is more than compensated for by the reduced thread divergence. Similar to the construction algorithm, 
we traverse the tree bottom up once again. For each inner node, we then decide whether its subtree should be collapsed to a leaf or not. The heuristic sim we propose simply uses the number of points contained in the subtree and checks if it is below the maximum point density theta. If this is the case, the node gets collapsed. In this process, we have to adjust inner nodes that were collapsed to a leaf in such a way that a correct hierarchy is created. Due to the underlying data structure, no data points have to be copied or moved since they are already sorted in memory from the initial construction phase. We thus only have to change the parent and child pointers as well as the number of data points in the new leaves. Both is simple in a bottom-up traversal since the number of points can be simply added for both subtrees. As we collapse part of the tree, the memory gets fragmented, which negatively affects query performance. For this reason, we compact the tree in a final step for more coherent memory access and more efficient caching. Since the order of nodes does not need to be maintained due to explicitly stored references, we use an in-place memory compaction. This avoids costly memory allocation and deallocation, as well as copying large amounts of data while still maximizing the memory throughput during the query phase. For details of the implementation, please take a look at the paper. This leads us to the final part of the algorithm, the optimized KNN query using a register-based priority queue. For the KNN query itself, each GPU thread processes one query point. The problem is that we now have to keep two priority queues for each thread, one for the traversal and one for the already found neighbors. On a CPU, these usually fit into the L1 cache and thus benefit from extremely low latency and high bandwidth. On a GPU, however, global or shared memory is used, which is considerably slower because of the smaller cache and non-continuous memory access patterns. As a first step, we removed one of the two priority queues and used a backtracking approach to traverse the tree. The second optimization is to accelerate the sorted list of found neighbors. We were inspired by the approach of Johnson et al, who used sorting networks on the GPU. For our approach, we however use a single array per thread in device register memory which we fill and keep sorted via compile time unrolled insertion sort. This has the advantage that we do not have to construct different sorting networks for every possible array size, but let the compiler do all the work instead. For this to work, K must be known at compile time, so we simply compile a suitable kernel for each possible K. Again, for details of the implementation, please take a look at the paper. In the following, I want to discuss parameter selection in detail and show how the presented optimizations contribute to the overall performance of our approach. We use a large benchmark set for evaluation with synthetic and real-world data sets from different areas of computer vision and graphics. It provides a broad range of distribution patterns from uniform to extremely irregular. Among others, we have terrestrial laser scans with extreme densities in close proximity, as well as widely scattered isolated points. The first parameter is the Morton code resolution. As we collapse in a nodes where the number of points is below the threshold, a high resolution leads to a significant overhead during KD, construction, KD tree construction for small datasets. 
For larger data sets, a low spatial accuracy, however, increases the maximum number of points per leaf, which degrades performance during the query phase. Although the optimum heavily depends on the regularity of the point distribution, a general trend can be seen for the test data sets. Using 10 bits per coordinate is a reasonable choice in the range of 200,000 to 5 million points. Below 200,000, using 6 bits was more efficient and above 5 million, it was better to use 14 or even 17 bits per coordinate. The only parameter used during KD tree optimization is the per node point threshold theta. Here, finding an optimal value is simpler since the performance gradually increases up to 32 and then levels until about 48, independent of the data set. We therefore chose 32 as a default parameter. In this plot, we can also see the performance gain over using the non-optimized KD tree generation using Apatrace algorithm. The optimization overhead is more than compensated for by the improved query performance. Notice that both axes of the plot are logarithmic, so the offset between the green and blue line is about 50% faster. While the memory compaction does not use a parameter, we still have three options here. We could either not compact the tree, or we could use out of place or in place compaction. Using no compaction leads almost always to the lowest performance, while there is little difference between in place and out of place compaction. As the in place compaction is slightly better on average, we selected that one in the end. Much of the improvement over previous algorithms is due to the register-based KNN heap. On average, the performance gain of it alone is a factor of 2 to 3. Using backtracking traversal removes the need for a second queue at the cost of more frequently reading global memory. Due to caching, the performance improvement was not as high as we had expected, but nevertheless, it is still substantial. Notice that there are some data sets where heap traversal was slightly more efficient, but in general, backtracking is much faster. Okay, so the main performance limiters of k-nearest neighbor search on GPUs are thread divergence and memory latency, since there is not much that needs to be computed except for the distance function. Profiling the unoptimized implementation using the initial KD tree shows exactly these characteristics. The number of executed instructions per clock cycle is very low, cache efficiency is moderate, and the main store reason is global memory latency. Optimizing the KD tree according to our simple heuristic already improves the profiling results. The instructions per clock increase by 50% without changing the code of the query. And cache efficiency is also better, reducing the number of cache misses to less than half. The main stall reason is, however, still memory latency. Replacing the standard heap with our register-based one leads to the highest performance gain. This is also visible in the profiling results, where the instructions per clock increase almost eightfold, and the total cache miss rate goes down to a mere 7%. As the register-based insertion sort needs more instructions, the speed up is only two to three, as we have seen. Although memory latency is drastically reduced, it is still the main store reason. Finally, switching to backtracking traversal increases instructions per second again by 50%, which, however, also does not directly translate into a performance gain since backtracking needs more instructions than heat-based traversal as well. The total cache miss rate becomes 1% only, 
And the main store reason is not memory latency anymore. So the query became compute bound and we achieved our goal. We compared our approach to different existing and publicly available methods and also included an approximate algorithm, GPU LSH, to show the high query performance of our exact approach. Our method is mostly independent of the point distribution and density of the data set. We achieve an almost linear runtime behavior with respect to the number of query points in the data set for different case. Compared to the fastest reference algorithm GPU FLAN, we achieve an average speed up of about 3.3, also independent of K. As the axes of the plots are all logarithmic, this is the constant offset between the two lower lines. To conclude my talk, our optimized GPU-based KNN method is suitable for interactive algorithms like online point cloud registration. It is able to compute approximately 300 million neighbors per second, or in other words, 10 million queries per second with a K of 32. The main limitation is that the data set needs to fit into GPU memory, but this could be solved by partitioning the point cloud into overlapping blocks. Currently, it is also not possible to use a K greater than 114 due to compiler problems, but we hope that this will be solved in the future. Okay, so first of all, I would like to thank Aim at Shape Visionaire, the Stanford 3D Scanning Repository, the Digital Michelangelo Project, Cyberware Inc., Bangor University, the Robotics 3D Scan Repository, Nefertiri Hack, Georgia Tech, 3D Scans.com, Laser Design, and 3D Reality Maps for providing the point clouds. Last but not least, I would like to thank Johannes Jakob, who did all of this work and will answer your questions in the Q&A. And I thank you for your attention. This research was funded by the Bayerische Forschungsstiftung under the project 4.3D. Thank you.